Hi and welcome to my uh, quick little tutorial on how to get the PO uh, modular characters working with SGK uh, version 2. So this one here is um, not too hard to do but uh, the first steps of it is pretty much just sort of setting it up for any kind of um, modular character that you've got. Um, should work with uh, any of the other ones that actually use um, replacement of the skin meshes as opposed to just adding on meshes uh, over the top. So the first thing that you need to change is the master character be uh, blueprint. So you wanted to search in SGK master um, in all of the content folders depending on how many you've got in your project. Um, and it should come up with BP SGK master character. So just open that up and we come to this screen, you can click on the viewport and you can see I've already um, made the changes here but I'll go through it uh, uh, step by step. Um, so the first thing you want to do is just go to your third person um, character which is just the mesh, character mesh. Um, this one here, sorry with, with this tutorial it's uh, only going to work for the third person. Um, I have tried fiddling around with some of the first person stuff but there's just a few things that um, make it not really work properly uh, and I haven't kind of come up with fixes for that yet. So this will just change the, the third person character um, and the first person arms that we can, uh, we can also modify. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to add a slot for every modular piece that you have um, in your modular character. For the PO art ones it's pretty much you got your um, head, body, arms, hands, legs and feet. Um, now I've got headgear here as well so things like hair um, and uh, so forth. Hair and hats I think might also do it. You probably just get away with the hats um, based off of uh, uh, using the sockets, um, the same as glasses, things like that, um, but I haven't actually set it up for that. This is just here for, so I can have hair um, and then turn off the hair uh, when I'm putting on a helmet or, or something else so that it doesn't clip through. Um, I'll explain that uh, in the part two of this tutorial, but for now, um, what you want to focus on is head, body, arms, hands, legs and feet. So you're just going to add these. This, these here are just skeletal meshes. You can just go to add component. Um, I've made them a child of the mesh here just for um, relative ease. I think they can actually pretty much sit anywhere um, as long as they're not within the first person camera. Um, so it's probably better just to keep them in this part of the hierarchy here. I'm not big on UE4 so I don't know if it really does affect it, but anyway, just do it the way I've done it. Uh, so. This is on the master character, so you don't want to actually set any of the, um, the skeletal meshes here. You can leave it all as the mannequin for now. Um, but yeah, once you put those in, uh, one thing to remember to do is come on down to the component tags here and just add in the tag for each of the body parts. So here I've got head, the next one I've got body, um, arms, hands, legs and feet. Um, this will come in handy later on uh, in part two when we're talking about how to um, hide the mesh for putting on the new uh, clothing equipment pieces. Um, so once we've got those uh, put in, that's all we need to do on our actual model here, um, but we do need to go into some of the scripting. Um, so one of the first things you want to do is um, go SGK get mesh. So you can just come down here, go SGK get mesh um, and open it up and it will open up into this part here. Um, now you can see we've got the third person body, um, first person arms and first person body. Uh, and then I've added all of these uh, extra ones here on the enum. I uh, forgot to open that up so let's go have a look for that now. So just in our browser we're just going to search for um, uh, equip, no sorry, um, body enum. Yep, eBody Mesh, that's the one we want. So you want to open up eBody Mesh, open it up, and you'll see it'll have third person body, first person arms, and first person body. Um, just create new rows for each of the different um, modular pieces that you've got. Um, I've named them here, so they're pretty self explanatory. Um, you want to add all of those in, um, and for the PO Arts one, you definitely want to have head, chest, arms, hands, legs, and feet. Uh, once you've got that, when you come back into here, you'll see that these will now appear on here as long as you've um, saved that out. Um, come back in here and it'll pop up. Then what you want to do is you just want to drag the references to those. So again, dragging reference straight forward to pull it in um, and then so just compile, save, um, and then link them up to the respective joints on here. This will come in handy for um, another part down the track when we um, set up uh, the camera stuff. So uh, we want to go now to begin play and you'll see when you come into begin play you'll have this section here which is all of this stuff. Now what we want to do is we want to make these skeletal meshes here or these modular skeletal meshes follow the mesh of the main mesh here. Um, so what you'll do is you'll get um, set pose, uh, set master pose component. You can just drag it out and type in set master 
pose component mesh and you can see you can just pull that up um, and then that will autom automatically make it so the mesh is the new master bone component um, and then you'll want to bring in the references for all of these again just drag them in and one by one feed them into the target module here what this will do is it will mean that any animation that's playing on this mesh one here which is the main mesh um, for SGK kit uh, will then feed down into this and replicate um, across these here so, uh, sorry when I say replicate I mean it will issue the, the command signal saying it's going to replicate over the network. That's handled in another space, um, but that's done automatically. So don't worry about my terminology. I'm from Unity, not UE4, so pardon my faux pas. Um, that's all we need to do for this part here, which is great. Um, the next part that we need to change is in the BP character component. Um, so this one here, you've got... Uh, actually, well, I'll do it from this way. So basically, we want to go back to our event graph. Uh, then we're going to go to inputs and double click, sorry this is on the um, SGK master character, um, go to your inputs, open that up and you'll see down here we've got uh, character stance, um, toggle camera view input. So this is what um, this is what SGK does to tell you um, when you're switching the camera what parts of these you need to hide so when you're switching between first person and third person so it switches off the right meshes so you just want to double click that it's going to take you over here to the character component toggle camera and then you've got here enter third person camera it's going to open that up and you'll see now it's taken me to here now this is where we're going to have this big spaghetti mess here um, i apologize that it's a bit unseemly um, but here we've got here set camera view um, and call server to also set it and then after that it actually jumps across here to um, a call for get mesh and it's basically talking about getting the third person mesh as you can see here set the third person body to vi uh, visible up to the local player only um, and hide the first person meshes so this is all about turning on and off the meshes um, and setting them to visible and invisible so what we want to do here is we want to get a get mesh call for each of the different drop downs that we made in our um, get mesh call here so each of these um, it's already got first person arms and body and that already set up so you can pretty much leave those um, and we just want to add in uh, the extra ones that we've got so if I come back here you'll see I've got one third person headgear, head, chest, arms, hands, legs and feet um, and as you can see you can just go SGK character as the target for all of those feed them all the way through and then all of the exit uh, sorry, the output nodes for mesh all feed into the target of this next one uh, and then of course new owner no see is going to be left um, false so we don't so that we want that to actually be visible and then when we come across our first person arms should uh, automatically be set there um, first person body I've actually taken out because um, I'm not using it uh, in yours it'll say body as well just leave it that's perfectly fine um, as normal uh, then we want to do the other opposite version of that so we can come back to toggle camera and we want to have enter first person camera you want to open that up and you're going to basically cut and paste those um, uh, all of these from up here just to make it a bit quicker paste it all in um, link it all up uh, that should already be linked but then of course you'll um, you'll have to link it to this node and then the final one through to the I don't know C section and then all of the mesh outputs again into this next one and this is now going to turn all of them invisible and then turn the first person arms um, and your first person body visible um, uh, yeah, that's if you're using the first person body. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because it doesn't really match uh, the, what's going on in the game. So I've actually turned it off um, for the PR art ones um, until I find a solution for that. Anyway, that's all you need to do for that end of it. Uh, we're going to go back to the master character again. A couple other things that you'll need to do. If we come into our viewport here, um, you'll see the mesh on our character mesh. Uh, if you scroll down to where it sets the visibility you can see it's um, visible but I've also actually got it hidden in game um, the reason I've left it visible on that is because I've had it turned off a few times and it causes some issue when I'm trying to use the master bone component so I've just left it as visible but I've hidden it in game because I don't want this body to actually show up because the body is already showing up in its modular form through these skeletal meshes so we don't need it visible um, and the same that I've got on the first person body um, I believe I have set that to visible and hidden in game. No, I haven't even got it visible at all. Um, so I've actually just blanked it out completely, um, but we have to leave it there because it is part of the, um, the SGK kit for controlling the character. Um, first person arms are obviously going to be visible um, and they will switch on and off as we go through. So now that you've got that, you can come back here and you can go to your um, master, oops, master character. Um, sorry, SGK master character, you see that it'll come up blank there and that's supposed to happen because you basically turned off the visibility of the mesh, that's fine. Um, you want to make a child blueprint of that for your character. Um, and don't worry about this one here because that's from the other one. Uh, and what I've done is I've just called mine SGK male. 
and you can see now we've got um, these uh, things here. You'll have to set these up manually. So basically you'll go to the character mesh. Um, I put in the headless one here, uh, but again, this is going to be invisible, so it doesn't really matter what it is, as long as you've got the third person, Hanim, uh, underscore C or whatever, um, the Anim class selected, that's the one for the SGK master character, and that will work fine. Um, headgear I've left blank, but now, of course, in the head, I've popped in the male head. Excuse me. Um, body, I've gone just the chest, uh, arms, just the arms, hands, of course, hands, legs and feet. Um, and as you see, just to double check for the next um, part two here, we've got feet um, listed as the, uh, the tag and the component tag. Uh, now we come down to first person body. Oops, excuse me, I've just gone and done that. Um, again, I've put it as a headless one, but this is obviously going to be um, not visible in game. It's just going to be completely turned off. Uh, we've got the visibility. Yep, see, visible, so it's turned off, so it's not actually going to appear in game at all, so you can leave it um, as the mannequin, it doesn't really matter. Uh, next we've got the first person arms, and as you can see, I've actually switched this to the male body upper. Um, the reason for this is I had a bit of issue trying to make another one here just for the hands, and having just the arms selected, there was basically a gap between where the arms and the hand connected together, and then the hands were offset for some reason, and I couldn't figure it out at all. Um, wasn't able to fix it, so I've just basically gone with this. Um, the problem with this is that your arms in the game were always going to be the blank arms, no matter what you're wearing. They're just going to be, sorry, the, not blank arms, the, um, the skin arms. So if you are wearing clothing and stuff, it's not going to show in the game. If you're wearing a, um, another mesh over the top of your arms, so say you're wearing a, um, like the cardboard sleeves, um, that will show, but things like your t-shirts and stuff like that, where you switch out the skin, it's just not going to show because that's not the way um, SGK is set up for this. Um, again, I don't really have a fix for that yet. Um, I might find one in the future, but for now, this is just how you do it. Um, okay, so that is it, I believe, for the first part. And I'll just show you what that actually looks like in-game when we play. So as you can see, yeah, sorry, I'll switch over to the big one here. Um, yeah, you can see this is what the character looks like once it's all set up. And I've actually got... Uh, oops, excuse me. Well, I pressed the wrong buttons. I hate navigating with UE. Um, I'm sure you people are like this is pretty straightforward, but for my Unity one, it's just uh, it's quite different. Um, so if we equip that, you can see now it's changed my shirt completely to the other one. I'm just going to equip some pants as well, and uh, I believe I've got feet. Yep, check it in there. So now you can see I've got that. Uh, of course, when I hit V, um, I do have these this double of the body, and I don't know why it's doing that. Um, it's sort of essentially duplicating that and I'm just gotta, I've got to go over that. So that's why I pretty much switched off the, um, that whole section there. And then of course if I go and pick up a gun, um, it should come up in my hands. Yep, and you see I've got the, um, the regular arms here uh, for that. Um, anyway, part two, I'm going to explain um, how to set up your items so that you can uh, replace the, um, the t-shirt and the pants and all that with uh, the skins that you need. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in part two.